Hi, this is Happy Bird from Happy Bird's Glitter Nest .com. and I made this cute little birdhouse pattern for you, and it will be for download in the Show More drop-down bar, as well as on my blog. And this was very easy to put together. I just used regular glitter, German glass glitter, and triple thick. So I hope you stick with me so I can show you how I made this. Now this has kind of a shabby chic look and I wanted to share my friend Elaine's Facebook page. It's called The Sisters Syndicate and I'll be sure and put Elaine's uh, link down below in the Show More drop down bar as well as on my blog. If you would please visit her Facebook page. It has a lot of shabby chic crafts and card making crafts, crafts of all kinds and she really encourages you to share your craft on her Facebook as well. She's a really sweet lady and I know she would appreciate it. So just let her know that Happy Bird sent you. And with that said, we'll move on and I'll show you how to make this little birdhouse. Hi guys, real quick before we start, I wanted to share some of the beautiful glitter that Debbie sent me and she is the gal who sells this beautiful 70 grit clear German glass glitter and her prices are extremely reasonable and she's so dependable I, I just love it whenever I order from her I always get my order in about four or five days and uh, which is pretty incredible and she always sends a sample of glitter um, maybe in a different color than you ordered or a different grit so it's really nice to have that little extra when you get your package but I just wanted to show you some of the things that she sent now <clears throat> I already used quite a bit of this um, this is the 40 grit in the ice blue and 40 grit is the largest grit I believe that she has and to me it looks like the crushed eggshells that I used to work with when I was a kid. Remember that? When they would dye Easter egg shells? Only, of course, this is much shinier and much prettier. And she also sent me the 40 grit in the antique gold. I thought that was so pretty. I could even see this being used in, uh, you know, the little, the little trays, the pendant trays. Wouldn't that be pretty? And then she sent me a sample of the 40 grit, and it's called Malachite. I thought that was beautiful, too. And then she sent me a sample of the 40 grit in pink. That would have made a really cute, shabby, chic birdhouse roof, too. And then she sent me the 40 grit in the pearl. I thought that was pretty. It's a pearl white. And then she sent me others too. This is a 60 grit and it's called Deep Smoky Purple. I thought that was nice. And this is a 60 grit in copper. I thought that was so pretty. I love that. And this was another one of my favorites, 60 grit in this lapis blue. And it almost looks like a purple tone, like a purplish, bluish tone, but it's so pretty. And then the 60 grit in the raspberry. I thought that was nice too. And then lastly, this is the 90 grit in the hyacinth. Color. 90 grit is the finest of the uh, German glass glitter. So she has a business called Sugar Camp Cottage on eBay and this is her email address right here but I will place her link in the show more drop down bar below as well as on my blog. So you might want to check her out. She has some pretty wonderful things at pretty fantastic prices and she keeps the shipping down so low too so I'm really appreciative of that 
Okay, I just wanted to share that info with you. So we'll get started. Okay, I made a pattern for you and it's free for download. I'll put the link down below in the drop down bar as well as on my blog and you can print it out for yourself and um, what I did was I just stapled the pattern onto a piece of cardboard and cut it out so I would have a sturdier piece to uh, trace around and then you're going to need stiff white felt just like this don't buy the kind where you peel off the paper and there's adhesive on the back you don't want that kind just the plain white stiff felt and it's okay if it has a little sparkle on it because we're going to cover that up anyway now if you can't find stiff white felt I did have a viewer tell me that she used white felt and used a stiffener fabric stiffener on it and it worked really well so um, I just wanted to give you that little bit of information now when I cut the hole out here I just used this blade and I just did the best I could and I went very slowly I to tell you the truth I'm not very good when it comes to using things like this um, but I went ahead like I said and cut it out and as you can tell it's not a hundred percent perfect but that's okay I don't want you guys to stress too much about that because we're going to end up putting pearls around here anyway and so it'll cover up a lot of little errors you know around the circle here now um, you're going to trace for each ornament you're going to trace two of the birdhouses one with a hole and one without a hole now in the upcoming footage that you're going to see there's going to be two pieces like this with a hole that I cut out simply because I wasn't thinking <laughs> but that's okay because I ended up fixing it towards the end of the video where it was really not noticeable or not very noticeable so um, when you go to trace these and you cut them out make one with a hole that you're going to cut out right here and I just used my precision scissors for that and then one without a hole okay this will be the back part and this will be the front part it'll go together like that okay and you can choose to do one or two roofs you can do one roof on the front and one with one roof on the back or you can just do one roof now I cut out two roofs but in the end I just decided just to use one roof and I think it looked really good so I was kind of learning as I was going um, going on making the video too so I just wanted to let you know that and uh, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to need to stiffen up the fabric with a with a skin you're going to create a skin on top of this and you're going to do it back and front and for those of you who have followed me you know why I do this already but if you're brand new I'll tell you why it's because any kind of glue that you put on felt is going to soak it up it's going to suck it right up so you have to create a skin on it in order to put a layer of glaze that will sit on top and the glitter will adhere to it okay so as soon as you do this on all your pieces including the roof you're going to set this to dry I put mine under a tabletop fan on low and let it dry overnight then you're going to turn it over and do the exact same thing on the back with all pieces now okay and allow that to dry so I'm going to go ahead and do this and then um, I'll see you in the next shot now please keep in mind you're going to see two pieces with circles cut out and not just 
one because I made it a mistake. So, but okay, what do you do, huh? <laughs> All right, so we'll go on to the next shot. Okay, so now we have all of our pieces, our two houses and two roofs already stiffened up with the triple thick on both sides. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take a, pair, a piece of sparkly um, cardstock and I bought this, at this in the scrapbooking section in the open stock paper at Michael's and um, I picked this because it was really shiny and glittery and I'll show you what we'll do with that. I just took um, a cap from a bottle of milk and I'm just tracing this with my mechanical pencil and I love these mechanical pencils because it really gets close to the edge. Alright, so now I'm going to cut it out. And if it's not perfect, that's fine. As long as you try your best to stay pretty much on the line. As you cut it, then that's all you need. So then you're going to need some diamond mesh in the color of your choice and I'm using pink. So I'm going to cut one, two, three, four, five, six, six diamonds by six diamonds. Of course, these aren't diamonds, but I'm calling them that so you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. Five, six. So. going to cut off all these little fuzzies. I know we're really not going to see them, but it still bothers me that they're there. <laughs> okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to glue it like that. And now you can see that um, in between the little mesh you can kind of see sparklies so it looks like glitter so that's why I'm doing it that way so um, I'm going to take my Sherbonder glue gun and I'm going to put a line of glue down here whoops my glue stick is not all the way in hold on all right there we go. And I'm just going to set this on here like so. You can use an eraser if you want to just kind of tap this. I'm just going to put a little thin stripe of glue right here in the middle and then towards the last here I'm just putting three stripes of glue on this, you don't need a ton 
Okay. All right, and then I'm just going to hold this behind one of the holes to show you what it'll look like. Okay. So, um, yeah, just like that. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do before we actually put this um, inside the bird's house, like so, I'm going to place some little pearls around here. And I bought these little pearls from the Dollar Tree. And so I'm just going to use some of these. Now these are a sticky back. You can use the little individual pearls or rhinestones and glue them around here. Um, let me lower this a little bit. However, I'm going to just use these. Now, as you can see, there's spaces between the pearls. That's not a problem. I will just push them up to one another like that. Okay? And you're probably wondering about now, well, how in the world is it going to hold? Well, I'll show you that. We'll get to that part. For now, I'm just letting it hang over just ever so slightly around the circle. And then I'm pushing this one against that pearl and I like the fact that I can kind of adjust these towards the end too um, I mean towards the very end I can adjust these because the circle might be off a little or I'll show you what I mean Like I said, it's your personal choice. You can decorate these birdhouses any way you'd like. Use your imagination. I'm just showing you the way that I'm doing them. But that pattern that I made for you is meant for you to come up with your own ideas too. That's the fun of crafting. And it looks like we might need maybe four more pearls. I'm pressing down. So I'm going to just grab four more pearls here. I think that's all we'll need. These are stuck on my fingers. Okay. <laughs> These are pretty sticky. That's a good thing, though. Okay. Alrighty. There we go. Okay, now this is what I mean by adjusting. You can just kind of take your fingers and and adjust them, move them around a little bit like so until you feel like you've made a fairly round circle like so and then just press them on down like this As you can tell, some of this stuff I'm just doing as I'm going along, along and um, making decisions as I go along. <laughs> okay, so that's good enough. I mean, it's not going to be 100%, but this is good enough. I think this looks pretty good. Okay. 
All right. So now I'm going to hot glue this on like this. So I'm take my hot glue gun and I'm just going to run a thin little stripe of glue on both sides like that. And then just put this like that. So Okay. Now this is why I made the second piece. I didn't want, you know, a big old ugly circle hanging off the back like that. So I'm going to do this. Now I'm not going to um, to put pearls around this circle. I'll show you how what we'll do next after that, okay? But we're going to need some hot glue. And you, you might be asking, well, why did we put a coat on the inside and the outside if we're only going to decorate one side on each side? Well, simply because it adds a lot of strength, okay? And you really do need that. So I'm just going to place just a, a little bit by the edges, but not so close to the edges that that it's uh, going to squirt out. Don't want that. And then I'll put a little more here, a little more here, and a little more here. There we go. You don't need a whole lot to make this stick. Okay. There we go. And don't worry about the pencil marks either because we'll cover that up. Or it'll be covered up. looks good. All right. Okay. So this is what we have so far. So far. And let's see for this. Let's see. Thinking. I'm trying to decide. No, I'm not going to put a second one on here. I think that if I do, it might look a little too, yeah, too bulky from this side. I think one roof will do. Yeah. So I'm going to go for that instead of using two. All right. So, um, sorry I took so long. So the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to come around with my triple thick. So let me get this set up. All right. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour some of this triple thick and I'm going to be very careful when I'm pouring not to get this on top of any of the pearls. Simply because I don't want any glitter sticking to the top of the pearls. I'm just going around them, so I'm just making little dots. And I'm going to take my makeup brush and just kind of spread the triple thick towards the pearls so it will kind of hold the pearls once this dries. And it'll seep in between. Not a whole lot, but it doesn't need a whole lot to make them hold just a little bit and I don't want to get any on top of the pearls like I said because I don't want any glitter to get on top of the pearls or to be on top of the pearls okay so as you notice it's not soaking in because we made a skin already 
and so all of this stays on top and dries like this glaze should. Okay. Alrighty, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of this tinsel glitter by Recollections called Glitz. It's really pretty. I normally don't use tinsel glitter, but I think that it look really pretty on this. So I'm going to sprinkle a good amount. I'm not going to cover it completely with this one tinsel glitter. I'm going to add another glitter on top of this, but I'm putting a good amount on this one right here. Okay. Then the next glitter I'm coming in with is Heidi Swap's glitter called Marquee Love. And it's the glitter that I've used in the past. It's kind of an iridescent white with uh, a little bit of silver added to it. Now, do you have to have these exact glitters? No, of course not. You can, you can go in and um, find your own at any craft store. But the third glitter that I'm going to put on top of this is one that Debbie sent me and this is what's going to make it look like diamonds and I'll show you that in a moment but this has to dry first before we put that last glitter on and you'll see the beauty of this come out okay just going to tap in all the little fuzzies all the way around like so okay. not going to shake it just pouring it over all right now I'm going to let this dry then I'm going to turn it around and do the exact same thing on the back and then allow that to dry so when both sides are glittered exactly the same and dried then we'll come back and I'll show you the glitter I'm talking about that looks like diamonds on this okay okay this has dried thoroughly back and front and I put this on the back um, I tried to cover up this part so I'm just going to put a little flower in there just going to take some hot glue in the middle and put this a little acrylic flower here just to cover up that circle. And I really shouldn't have cut the circle out of the back part, but I did, and so I'm going to cover it up a little bit. So that doesn't look too bad now, does it? Okay, so the front, I'm going to put some of the beautiful 70 grit uh, German glass glitter on this. I'm just putting a little bit around here, not too much. And I'm just going to kind of dab it here and there. And then I'm going to sprinkle some of this beautiful glitter on the top. And this is the 70 grit clear German glass glitter. I just love this stuff. It makes it shine like diamonds. Okay. I'm just going to press down like this. with my brush stick here, the stick part of my brush. Okay, and I'm not 
not going to shake it, I'm just going to gently tip it over and see if there's any fuzzies around the sides and if so, we'll push those back in okay, so after this dries it will give such an amazing shine so I'm going to put this um, underneath my tabletop fan on low and as soon as this is completely dry then we'll finish it up. While my little birdhouse is drying we're going to decorate the roof of the house and of course I'll be placing some triple thick on that so I'm just going to pour a fairly good amount on here might be a little too much but uh, I can wipe a little bit of that off I'd rather have a little too much than not enough okay alrighty so let me get a paper towel and I decided that on the roof I would use combination of two glitters. This is the 40 grit German glass glitter in the ice blue and as you can see I've already used some of it and I'm just going to sprinkle it on like so shake it a little bit there we go and then maybe a little right here okay and then I'm going to take this and set this aside Actually, let me pour the rest of this back into the, the little glitter bag, and then I can reuse it. Okay. And this 40 grit sure cleans up nicely. Okay. So, as you can tell, there are a few places here and there that are still open. And so I'm going to use this 80 grit sapphire. German glass glitter. I think it would be really pretty and it would help to fill in the, um, the empty spaces. And I'm just going to pour it, I think, and then clean up the excess. Okay. So now I did this, turn it over gently, and see, you can see the combination of the two glitters, and I, I'll go back in and add a little bit more here, but I think this looks beautiful for the roof, and I'll go ahead and let this dry, maybe put a thin coat of triple thick on it, just to make sure everything um, holds nicely, because it is a larger grit glitter. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'll clean it up and I'll allow this to dry. Okay, so as you can see, this is completely dry and it really sparkles. I hope you can see this. And then we have the back. And I fixed this because I cut a hole in the back piece. And so this is totally dry. This is the roof. And on the back, I just did the same thing that I did to this back okay so um, the next step that we're going to do is I'm going to place a little bale on the roof and I chose this medium heart bale and yes I will include all the links to the bales and everything for you and I'm going to place it right at the top and um, to do this 
I'm going to take a little bit of E6000 and put it on the bale, but I'm also going to add a little bit of hot glue because I had a I had a couple of um, viewers recommend this to me, and it does work. So I put just a small amount of the E6000, and then I'm going to take some hot glue. And the hot glue is to make it stay in one place while it's drying because it kind of grabs right away with a hot glue. So I'm going to place it right here, like so. Hold it for just a few seconds until the hot glue grabs. Okay. There. See? Okay. So I'm going to set this aside for a second. Now, I also had some little wooden bird buttons that I ordered, and they have different floral designs on them. And, of course, I'll put a link down below in the drop-down bar for this as well. Um, these were really inexpensive. I paid $1.50 something for 25 of them. It did take about three weeks to arrive, but it was worth it when I got it. So what I did was I took one of the little birds and I just put a little triple thick on top and then I sprinkled some of this beautiful uh, 70 grit clear German glass glitter on top so it really makes a sparkle and then I took some small bales I glued one at the top and one at the bottom and I'll show you why we did that in a moment um, but for now, I'm going to glue the roof onto this. So I'm just going to put some glue right around here. And then set this right on top. Isn't that cute? Okay. Alright. So. Alright. Now we're going to glue the little birds on. So I'm going to glue this one right up at the top here. Make it sit at the top. Okay, and I also glued a little bale at the bottom, at the back here, and I used the same process as I did for up here. I used a little E6000 with a dab of hot glue in the middle, and so it grabbed right away. And um, then I added this little piece of cord at the top. So now we're going to place some little roses at the bottom. And I just bought these little paper roses on um, on eBay. And this was quite a while ago. So I don't even know the seller's name. But I know they have lots of little paper flowers like this on eBay. And let me measure those. These are, the rose itself is approximately maybe 15 millimeters across. Okay. And I didn't include... The measurements of the leaves. All right, so I'm just going to put three little roses down here. Now you don't have to do this part. You could use trim, like sewing trim that's really sparkly, or you could just leave it alone because it would look just as cute without anything across here. So it all depends on your personal preference. Go with what suits you the best. Okay. So I have the little flowers glued on here. Okay, so now we'll put the little bead dangle on the little bird. 
Now, I'm going to direct you to my friend Crafty's channel. She has a YouTube channel with lots of crafts on it, and she made a couple of really, really good um, unwrapped bead dangle tutorials that you can use on my projects. And she does such a wonderful job of explaining them, and she gives close-up shots so it you know you can see what's going on. And um, she also has a Facebook called Crafty Minds, but I'll put those two links down below in the drop-down bar as well, right next to my friend Elaine's Facebook um, link. And um, you can, if you would please visit it and you know like her page, subscribe to her. I'd really appreciate it. Just tell her Happy Bird sent you. So we're going to hook this onto the bottom part here, and this is a six millimeter jump ring. Oh, I'm going to have to use my fingers on this, I think. You might want to go with a 7mm jump ring instead. It would probably give you a little more wiggle room. But that's okay. I'm just... I mean, it worked, but if you're a newbie and you don't want to struggle a little bit there for a moment, then use a 7mm. <laughs> okay. I'm going to slip another... Oh, what the heck. I'm just going to take this off and get a 7mm. And that's okay that I show you stuff like this because... Then it just helps you guys out in the future when you're doing your craft. Now I can get in there a little bit more. Sometimes I just use one of the pliers and close the other with my fingernail. I know it's not the best thing to be doing, but sometimes your hands are your best tools. Okay. So I think this turned out really cute. I'm going to have to back up a little bit on this and show you the whole thing. Maybe I can do it like this. So I think it turned out really cute. So I hope you enjoy it and make sure to download my pattern. If you have any difficulties whatsoever, you can always email me at happybirdscraftinghaven at gmail.com. So thank you, each and every one of you, and God bless you all. Take care. Bye-bye.